power flashes. Pray for these people. On the afternoon of May 20th, 2013, an EF5 tornado struck Moore, Oklahoma, devastating a community and unfortunately taking dozens of lives. A very sad day in Oklahoma history and one of the more powerful tornadoes to hit in the state, at least in the past 10 years. Let's give you some information on what happened three years ago Friday. Moore, Oklahoma left scars not only on people's hearts, but on the communities. You can see where that tornado did its damage with winds up to 210 miles per hour and at least 24 fatalities with hundreds injured and billions of dollars in damage. And you saw the video there, a path width of over a mile, a very scary situation. And the voice you heard on the video there was our own field correspondent, Ben McMillan, who's in us uh, in the studio with us today. Ben, I can only imagine what it was like to be there that day. Take us back to 2013 and what brought you to more uh, that day. Yeah, Chris, so we were in more what they set up with a warm front and a dry line. Mm -hmm. We were south of the city initially, but this storm actually formed north of our position and it went severe very, very quickly. And then, of course, what you've been saying happened very, very uh, quickly. The tornado oh, yeah. became very intense. We were in uh, the I-35 corridor watching to our west near the city of Newcastle, and we watched this huge tornado, you know, very intimidating, very dark looking, move through the city. So you can imagine what was going through my head at that point. You know, this is just before 3 p.m. when this thing forms. School kids are getting out. Uh, people are going about their daily business and obviously a heartbreaking situation. And on the ground for almost 40 minutes. I mean, to have that kind of feeling in your heart and to watch that happen for nearly an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, take us through what happened in those 40 minutes and the entire time that you were on the storm. Well, it was a 17 mile path and they initially issued that tornado warning that it was radar indicated then that tornado dropped and you know it became a confirmed tornado warning and then eventually they issued the highest level of warning the National Weather Service can issue a tornado emergency telling everyone in the area to take immediate cover that this was a very very serious situation and a very strong tornado and you're a trained EMT so in situations like these those instincts have to kick in yep. and that day they did fortunately you were there saving many people's lives yep and you know I wasn't the only emergency responder out there in some of the video you can actually see numerous fire trucks and apparatus is trying to get out of way of this tornado and respond to this eventually respond to this damage so um, a heartbreaking situation for the Oklahoma City Metro all their emergency responders have seen too much of this and they have to go through this again obviously a heartbreaking situation right because they had a similar tornado that followed a similar path in 1999 uh, so being on the ground with other first responders mm -hmm. and coming up on a scene like this how do you approach that do you just have to kind of flip the EMT switch in your brain it becomes a very quick decision to stop the change and start to aid victims. When you see damage like this, there's no question in your mind that is those people's safety is at the top of your priority list. You know, we have cars that have been tossed in the winds of the tornado. An EF5 or an EF5 tornado is very, very intense. So it picks up these cars like twigs, tosses them. This is a hospital. You can see the roof is completely gone. If you can imagine being a hospital patient in a place where you think is safe and having that hit, you can see me running here ac across the interstate going in to aid those victims uh, situation. I hope to not encounter again just because of the magnitude. Yeah, and as a field correspondent, this has to be something that's a day that is just ingrained in your mind. Have you been back to more since this happened? Yep, we've been back to the area. The Moore Medical Center is being uh, finalized. It's been rebuilt. Um, you know, t obviously to have your community hospital devastated mm -hmm. is something that no town should ever have to go through. And there's a saying that came about after the disaster that, you know, everyone in Moore said they were more strong. And I like mm -hmm. to think about that more strong, that perseverance to rebuild and, you know, move on and be better than you were before. And how has that changed your perspective on chasing? You know, we're always prepared. We have a great team of field correspondents here. We have folks that are, you know, in the National Guard. We have mm -hmm. myself who's an EMT and we have other folks who each one brings a certain skill to the table and we have a great field team and, uh, you know, we're always prepared for this. We just hope we never have to see it. I hope you never have to see it again either. And this is not far from Oklahoma City, just to give people some perspective on where this took place. Ben, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Again, this was all the EF, uh, the EF5 tornado that hit more Oklahoma back on May. 20th of 2013. We're thinking about that an anniversary Friday and a very scary situation.